Hey everyone, I'm Anoop, uh, and today I'm excited to talk about our work towards efficiently monitoring heterogeneous and dynamic networks. This is joint work with Alan and my advisor, Professor Srini. Over the recent years, there have been significant advancements in network monitoring through a combination of developments in streaming or sketching algorithms and programmable networks. Sketches are probabilistic data structures that summarize a stream of network traffic. Unlike traditional approaches like sampling or per flow counters, sketches consume only a small amount of memory while providing theoretical accuracy guarantees. And they're also robust, robust to different kinds of workloads. They support a wide variety of queries which are useful for many applications in security, management, and accounting. On the programmable network side, Rather than being limited by the types of primitives available on different devices, innovations have now allowed us to deploy many expressive sketch-based telemetry tasks at a variety of vantage points in the network, including programmable switches, uh, smart NICs, and software switches. Both of these threads have brought us closer to rich, robust, and efficient network-wide monitoring. Typically, to gauge network-wide statistics, operator will coordinate measurement between a subset of carefully chosen vantage points, such that they're able to adequately cover the required traffic that they want to monitor, as well as meet any accuracy or device constraints. However, while doing so, operators will often assume a network of homogeneous set of devices which offer similar capabilities, resources, or performance. This reality is quickly changing, with an increasing trend towards heterogeneity. We already see deployments of different programmable switches, smart NICs, and software switches in data center environments. Along with that, there's a new generation of diverse programmable hardware from a variety of vendors. Overlooking all of this heterogeneity comes at a great cost. These different devices might have drastically different memory hierarchies and computer architectures, some might have specialized ASICs for certain operations. Others might have general purpose compute. And so the same program can perform very differently on these devices. For instance, on a programmable switch, the required resources might be independent of the traffic that you want to monitor. Whereas on a server CPU, the amount of resources required might depend on the amount of traffic. And depending on the amount of traffic, each, either of these devices might be a better candidate for a given sketch. By abstracting away many of these facets, existing work either excessively consumes resources or hampers performance. Many a times, these resources can be only scarcely available or be used to support other revenue-generating applications. From our evaluation, we find like overlooking this heterogeneity can require as much as one extra core per server. If your deployment has 100,000 servers, that can that directly translates to saving or over consuming 100,000 cores. This also has significant monetary implications. So in this work, we ask, how can we best place sketches and allocate resources for monitoring tasks? We consider a heterogeneous network where potentially multiple users may submit diverse sketch-based monitoring intents. With this information, we'd want to place sketches or deploy sketches while minimizing the performance and resource overheads associated with monitoring. And also, we'd like to be able to recompute our deployment decisions to keep up with changes in routing, traffic volumes, and monitoring requirements. So to do that, we approach this problem by formulating it as a constrained optimization problem. This approach is made possible by our two key insights. First, we find that the simple structure of sketches simplifies profiling their performance and resource trade-offs. This allows us to understand and encode the cost and benefit of different placement and allocation decisions within our optimization formulation. Second, we find that we can leverage patterns in traffic as well as monitoring requirements to solve our optimization formulation quickly so that we can keep up with network dynamics. With these two insights, we build our system called HeteroSketch. Uh, it consists of two key components. First is an automated profiler that studies the performance resource trade-offs of different devices. And these 
the, the, the performance resource trade-offs can then be used by the optimizer to intelligently place sketches and allocate resources. In what follows, I'll describe both of these components in a bit more detail, followed by their evaluation. So let's start with the profiler. The goal of the profiler is to understand how different hardware and their architecture interacts with sketches and their configurations, and how this interaction affects the forwarding performance of a device. Such an understanding can help us answer questions like, what is the maximum amount of traffic that a device can handle given some sketch and uh, uh, given a device and a sketch requirement. Alternatively, we can answer questions like, okay, what are the minimum amount of resources that will be needed to support some given traffic on a given device? Unfortunately, building such relations to predict the performance of uh, sketching or performance of general programs can be hard, as programs may have complicated control flow, many data dependencies, or synchronization. Fortunately, we observe that sketches share a common structure that allows us to simplify the task of performance prediction. To understand this, I'll briefly describe the structure of a canonical count when sketch, which can be used to store a summary of flow sizes of a traffic stream. It consists of a table of counters, and on every packet, a hash function is computed for each row in the table. Using the output of the hash, uh, the, the output of the hash is used to index into the different rows of the table, and the corresponding counters are incremented. With this structure, we observe that the operations for different rows are independent of each other. There's limited control flow and data dependencies. Further, sketches only use a fixed amount of memory. With these properties, we find that the performance of sketches is largely governed by the number of primitive operations rather than any dependencies or locking. While the structure of sketches has allowed us to simplify our performance prediction task from the perspective of programs, we still need to manage the complexity introduced due to different device architectures. Different devices might have different bottlenecks and memory hierarchies and types of parallelisms. To accommodate this, the profiler works by studying how the end-to-end -end throughput evolves as we systematically vary the configuration of sketches and resources on a device being profiled. With this methodology, our profiler is agnostic to different devices. It does not need any intrusive measurement capabilities from the device, allowing us to capture a broad set of devices of both today and tomorrow. So let's see how the profiler works. It uses three different phases of benchmark to study different levels of parallelism. In the first phase, it tries to understand how the time for primitive operations, such as hashing and memory updates, scale as we vary the configuration of different sketches. In the next phase, it tries to study how the primitive operations compose. Is it that these operations can be done independently, or do they stall each other? In the last phase, the profiler tries to understand how performance changes as we change the amount of resources. It uses a set of different sketch configurations to determine when different bottlenecks might be triggered. With all these three types of benchmarks, the profiler can combine them to express sketch performance in the form of algebraic relationships. These relationships can then guide the optimizer to make intelligent decisions. So let's talk about our optimizer. The optimizer conducts sketch placement and resource allocation, and it needs to ensure four different types of constraints while doing so. First, we want to ensure that we're deploying sketches such that we're able to cover and monitor all the traffic. We want to ensure that our sketches are configured so that they meet the accuracy requirements. Further, they should fit within the capacity constraints of different devices. And lastly, using the profiler, we ensure that we don't, any sketching that we deploy on our device does not hamper the forwarding uh, of existing traffic. We incorporate all of these constraints in a mixed integer program that minimizes the total resources used by monitoring. We can, th th this formulation can be tweaked for other objectives or constraints. Unfortunately, we are not done yet. This formulation results in a large and complex NP-hard optimization problem. 
which can take hours to solve even with state-of-the-art solvers. Ideally, to keep up with changes in traffic, monitoring requirements, and routing, we'd like to be able to solve this optimization within a few minutes or a few seconds. To speed up optimization, we propose a clustering-based heuristic that partitions our problem into independent subproblems. Specifically, we'll first cluster our network of devices, then we use the optimizer to assign our sketches to different clusters, and lastly, in parallel, we can use the optimizer to place sketches inside each cluster. While doing so, the clustering strategy, the way we cluster our network, matters. Any sort of hierarchical partitioning uh, can hamper optimality. This is because independent subproblems can't really share information with each other, and this can lead to infeasibility or suboptimality. To demonstrate this, consider this toy topology of seven devices with a flow from device two to device five. Let's say we want to monitor this flow using a sketch. And consider the following two strategies, wherein the strategy one, we are dividing the top and bottom half into clusters, and in strategy two, we're dividing left and right half. In strategy one, let's say the sketch is first assigned to the top cluster. Now, when the optimizer is run within that cluster, only device two sees the traffic relevant for this uh, sketch. And so the optimizer will have to place the sketch on that device. Whereas with strategy two, the sketch will first be assigned to the left cluster. And within this cluster, the optimizer retains its flexibility to place the sketch on either of the two devices that see the relevant traffic. So we'd like to be able to keep devices that see the same traffic in the same cluster so that we can minimize the impact or minimize the loss in optimality that our clustering heuristic causes. Now let's move on to our evaluation, uh, starting with the profiler. We consider a set of devices that are available to us, including a programmable switch, FPGA NIC, system on chip based NIC, and a software switch. We port a number of sketches to all of these devices, and for each device as shown in the figure, we run a number of different configurations. We compare the ground truth performance with that predicted by the profiler. We find that our automated profiler predicts sketching performance within 5% relative errors on average. For the optimizer, we mainly study improvement in the resource usage for monitoring, as well as the time to compute our placement and allocation decisions. We consider a number of baselines to compare our work against. First, we consider a scheme that only uses memory constraints to decide which devices should hold which sketches. This is similar to the prior work called Unimon from Sitcom. The second baseline on top of Unimon uses profiling aware resource allocation after the placement has already been decided by the baseline. Optimal is a scheme that uses the same formulation as HeteroSketch, that is our work, but does not use the clustering heuristic. We find that our profile-guided optimizer is able to reduce resource overheads by 20 to 30% compared to our baselines, and it produces solutions which are close to optimal despite using the clustering heuristic. Next, we study the scalability of, of our approach. For that, as shown in the figure, we measure the response time as we vary the size of our topology. We find that our approach allows us to provide one to three orders of magnitude quicker responses for network dynamics, allowing us to scale to topologies with more than 40,000 devices. In conclusion, existing works overlook heterogeneity and dynamics. We build HeteroSketch as a general way to manage heterogeneity and dynamics through a combination of automated profiling and our clustering heuristic. As a consequence, we are able to reduce resource overheads by 20 to 30% and promptly respond to network dynamics. We believe that our profiling plus optimization approach can be applied 
to other packet processing programs. Inherently, any program that you're going to deploy on the data plane is meant to be simple so that it can keep up with increasing line rates. This simplicity makes them amenable to automated profiling. We also believe our clustering heuristic can be applied to other network optimization problems. Indeed, some of the recent works have employed a similar approach in other contexts. With that, I'd like to thank everyone for their time, and I'd be happy to take any questions.